Well, I could teach you the Roy family traditional toast, if you'd like to hear that. It goes, here's to you and here's to me. The best of friends will always be. But if someday we disagree, fuck off. Every single day was like a pinch me moment of, is this my job? Do I have to like commute by boat to a super yacht for work? It's bad. It's very, very bad. Oh. Ah! The last couple of episodes in season two when we we're on the boat in Croatia. That was like, I'm getting paid for this? Oh, okay. You wanna talk to each other in your mini? Okay. <laughs> How am I the mature one here? This has been the best thing I've ever worked on, and um, uh, it's also good. I really can't uh, pick out one particular episode because they're all so strong. Yeah, it's a beautiful show. I'm a GIF now. I got memed. <laughs> the scene with Colin in the diner, I think is a lovely scene. It's an acknowledgement of a character who's just been constant throughout the whole show. He realized that this man has been his true pal. You know, nobody else is. Everybody's after something, and he's not. And that's something that is really touches Logan's heart. You're my best pal. Thank you. There's a scene in Norway where Greg is told to be a punching bag for Tom so that Tom can look like he's strong. And I decide I'm not gonna do that. And I'm actually gonna be my own man here. Yeah, I have it on good authority. There's a kill list, yeah. Right. Like eight, nine names? It's evolving. It was so fucking funny. And um, and it was, it was a nice moment to be Greg and be like, no, Tom, and do it in front of what might be the most powerful man in the world. But then when we were shooting the last scene, it was such a um, playful, joyful, silly kind of experience because there's food involved and... Oh my God. Oh. Kings don't wear silly hats. Kings wear crowns. Like you drink anymore. Well then don't. Wear your crown, sir. Oh, no. No, 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 Wear your crown. No, 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 the kind of reality hit and it got pretty sad again. It was so hard. Everyone was so sad. And then, you know, there was just a point where everybody started sobbing, like everyone. And it was, that was hard, but also great, you know. It felt like, man, we just, we've had some good years and these are some of the best people I'll, I'll ever work with. They catch them fast. Their hearts cannot enjoy them more. Green grow the rushes grow the rushes grow the sweetest hours that are spent were spent among the last It's a great, great group of people. Everybody kind of, you know, burst into tears. Big giant hug of I don't know how many people. Just kind of like this cluster hug, like moving around like that. And so, um, that's how it is, you know? It's like the price of admission. You're gonna develop relationships with people and you form a little family. And then you have to say goodbye, so that's, that's just the way it is. Without the fans, we couldn't do what we're doing. The fans have created the momentum of the show, they've allowed the momentum of the show, and it's, it's, it's affecting them, and they're all, it's amazing. Just uh, thanks uh, for being loyal, and I, I assume you've enjoyed it, I sure hope so. But thanks for, Thanks for watching us. Well, I'd like to say to the fans, thank you so much for getting so invested in our show, um, into the storylines, the characters. A big thank you to the fans who, who really enjoyed her and who uh, celebrated her and who wanted to see more of her. Oh, I think they're the smartest, most tasteful, um, <laughs> most discerning uh, people on social media. <laughs> no, but they really have been really enthusiastic fans. You know, giving Jesse all the props he deserves, and yeah, so thanks, thanks for your loyalty and um, and love us forever, please. <laughs>